Wow eScooter 775 is the second creation by an Italian personal mobility vehicle manufacturer. The 775 modification is very similar to their first model, but unlike its predecessor, it's received a more powerful powertrain. In terms of performance specifications, the 775 scooter belongs to the L3e category. Its synchronous, brushless motor generates 5 kilowatts of peak output, and the generated power is transferred to the rear wheel via a belt drive. When combined with a 72-volt, 42-amp-hour battery, this scooter lets you ride for up to 60 miles between charges. The maximum permitted speed is 55 miles per hour. The model has shaft forks in front and a monoshock absorber in the rear. The stopping power comes courtesy of a combined braking system. It should be also noted that this electric two-wheeler is equipped with a regenerative braking technology, so excess kinetic energy could be used to charge the battery. Speaking of charging, this process would take four hours if you use the proprietary 10-amp battery charger. Electric transport won't ever take off unless it's truly affordable. This thought has been flowing around the EV community for a while now, and it seems that manufacturers are starting to get a hint and are trying to produce models for both ends of the spectrum, high-end models as well as affordable ones. One of the latest entries to the affordable class will be done by Kimco, a reputable manufacturer from Taiwan. Their like EV scooter is to be equipped with a 3.2 kilowatt electric motor. This unit will be coupled with a unique battery system that can consist of up to four modules. The base module is represented by a small capacity, 550 watt hour battery. It's non-removable and is to be used as a last resort power supply. The main battery system has three available battery slots for 650 watt hour units. If you choose to fill in all available battery slots, your estimated range could reach 125 miles. Like EV Scooter features a telescopic suspension in front and a swing unit suspension in the rear, so the model could handle most city commuting scenarios with ease. Japanese scooter and motorcycle manufacturers seem to have realized that they are late to the EV party. So, in an effort to catch up with competitors that already have robust electric scooter lineups, the Japanese are trying to take clever shortcuts. For example, the first e-scooter by Yamaha will be produced in cooperation with Gogoro. This Taiwan-based EV company has managed to build some of the best battery packs in class, has a great lineup of rideables as well as a network of fast battery swap stations. Just like the Gogoro scooters, Yamaha EMF will feature a removable battery pack system. Unfortunately, the full battery specifications and some other critical data about the model are yet to be revealed. However, we already know that these Yamaha scooters will be powered by a 7.6 kilowatt electric motor that can push these two-wheelers to the speed of 31 miles per hour in just three and a half seconds. The stopping power will come courtesy of a combined braking system. Personal electric transportation vehicles with folding designs are exceptionally popular among city dwellers and office workers that have limited storage space. Tatamel is an electric motor concept by a Japanese startup that has its transformation capabilities taken to the extremes. When folded down, it will measure just 27.6 by 26.8 by 10.2 inches, so it can easily be stored under a regular office desk. When unfolded, the vehicle will let you travel for up to 31 miles at speeds reaching 25 miles per hour. The powertrain consists of a 600-watt electric motor and a 12-amp-hour battery pack. Despite being so compact, the creators of this scooter didn't limit its technological package, so it's equipped with a front and rear coil spring suspension, customizable side panels, an external power outlet feature for your gadget, and an LED lighting system. This bright orange electric scooter is called the MQI GT Evo, and it's the latest addition to the NIU model range. It seems that the company has decided to associate the bright color with exhilarating speed and power, 
since MQI GT Evo is now carrying the title of the company's most powerful flagship product. When developing this two-wheeler, the engineers have set an ambitious goal. It was to treat American and European riders to a product that would outperform all of the offerings in the 125cc class. The throttle power of this vehicle is guaranteed by a 5.5 kilowatt hub-mounted electric motor. This e-motor will be hooked up to a dual battery system that's located in an underseat storage compartment. The 72 volt, 26 amp hour battery units can provide the range of about 53 miles of continuous riding. Besides being powerful, this model keeps all of the smart features that Niu brand is known for and introduces a newer TFT screen for you to access all the controls and look up the vital data while riding the scooter. This year, Horwin is updating its e-scooter range with a brand new model called the SK3. This zero-emission, personal mobility vehicle features a mid-mounted e-motor unit capable of putting out 6.2 kilowatts of peak power. As a result, SK3 can provide a comfortable city commuting experience and can be ridden at the speed of 50 miles per hour. Out of the factory, the base modification of this scooter comes equipped with one 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery module that can last for up to 50 miles of riding. If needed, the two-wheeler can be equipped with a dual battery system. By installing an extra battery pack, you'll be able to go up to 100 miles per charge, but will have less space for your helmet in the underseat storage compartment. When depleted, each battery pack would require up to 5 hours of charging to restore full capacity. The scooter's attention-grabbing design is offered in three color schemes. Other noteworthy features include LED lighting, a smart battery management system, and CBS brakes. Yadea is one of the most prominent Asian manufacturers in the field of electric scooters and bikes. They have used the latest Milan Motor Show to showcase their existing lineup that they are planning on bringing to Europe and other international markets, as well as present brand new models. Y1S is their most recent creation that appeared to be in the limelight at the Milan Motor Show. This upcoming electric scooter was developed to have a rather wide target audience, from regular urban dwellers to package delivery personnel. Y1S e-scooter features an extra long seat. It's 2.1 feet long and is suitable for carrying a rider and a passenger. When used for business purposes, every rider would benefit from a robust carrying shelf with heavy-duty brackets that can handle up to 65 pounds of cargo. The cargo is equipped with an electric motor with a peak power output of 2,700 watts and 28 miles per hour speed capabilities. With such specifications, the model would comply with most EV regulations in Europe. The motor is being juiced by two 60-volt, 24-amp-hour battery packs that support charging inside the scooter, as well as with the help of a home-based docking station. Other noteworthy features of this two-wheeler include full LED and Class C lights, hydraulic shock absorbers, front and rear disc brakes, as well as an intelligent BMS system. Vespa electric scooter is by no means a new model, but for the 2022 model year, this Italian manufacturer has decided to offer it in a special edition version. Vespa Electric Red was created to support the Red Association, an organization that helps struggling communities. Every purchase of this special edition model would mean a $100 donation to a good cause. The special edition features a unique red paintwork that has been applied to the body panels, cast aluminum rims, and the seat trims. In terms of specifications, it seems that the model remains unchanged. It's still motivated by a 4 kilowatt electric motor that can bring this scooter to the top speed of 43 miles per hour. The energy to the motor is being supplied by a 48 volt lithium ion battery pack that was developed in cooperation with LG. The total battery capacity is 4.2 kilowatt hours, and according to the manufacturer, it should let you ride for up to 62 miles between charges. We would really like to hear your opinion about the lineup in the comments section. Don't forget to mention other exciting models that we may have missed. Rate the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. More exciting EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links.
See you soon.